got to be spring break this week. There's like nobody out. Good grief. Well, it makes the commute to work really nice though, that's for sure. Oh well, let's go ahead and get into it. Hello, everybody. My name is Speak. Thanks for stopping back by my channel. I really appreciate it. So what I was thinking about the other day was what does it take for you to subscribe and unsubscribe to a channel? Like, what's your thought process in, you know, deciding whether you're going to subscribe to somebody, follow them, you know, stuff like that, you know, and then what's your process like, you know, what do they do, you know, that makes you end up unsubscribing? For me, it only takes about one or two videos for me to decide that I'm going to subscribe to somebody. I can usually get a pretty good feel, you know, right from the get-go and see if they're unique, entertaining, you know, things like that. For me, it's more about being entertaining rather than being unique. I mean, because there's a lot of, um, you know, stuff that's repeated in the moto vlogging community, even on my channel, I know that for sure, you know, stuff that things I do are not necessarily unique. I'm doing a lot of the same things that a lot of other people are, but I'm just trying to do it in my own way and hopefully be entertaining. And that's, you know, how, you know, I'm a hopefully attracting, you know, viewers and stuff right now. But I have unsubscribed from some channels recently, um, which is kind of funny to me, you know, because I don't usually do that. You know, usually once I subscribe to someone, I'm pretty much with them. But I was wondering, you know, to myself, why am I unsubscribing? You know, why, you know, why was it such a big deal, you know, about what they said? Or was it a pattern, you know? Was it a pattern of, you know, videos and themes and things that they were saying that led me to my decision? Or does it just take like one thing, like hair trigger sort of thing, and first thing that happens, boom, see you later. Uh, yesterday I was watching a, a video from a channel that I subscribed to, and they said something that I really didn't agree with or that I didn't like their point of view on. And it wasn't like a topical sort of thing, like a political thing or anything like that. It was just a particular way that they were doing something, and I just very much disagree with that, you know, and I have my reasons for that, right? But I, I was about to unsubscribe from their channel, and I was like, well, hold on a second here. What's my reason for unsubscribing? Like, is it just this one thing that we disagree on? Like, do we have to be in agreement on every everything, you know, in order to, you know, for me to be, maintain my subscription to your channel? I mean, it's not like my subscription costs anything, you know? But see, for me, the subscriptions is where I live. That page is where I live. I don't hardly click on stuff, uh, you know, on the front page, uh, you know, recommended, you know, what's trending on YouTube, anything like that. So, you know, the subscriptions is where I live. That's, that is my entertainment base. And it's also, you know, home base for, you know, supporting some other channels and stuff like that. You know, other moto vloggers and stuff that I watch that are small like me. And I like to, I like to watch them. I like to support them. I like to see them growing um, and kind of see the process, you know, just as I'm growing and, you know, stuff like that. And hopefully people see some of that process, you know, with my channel. But I don't know. Do we need to, you know, if you, if you disagree with one little thing, do you just unsub and say, forget that person, you know? Or do you give them a chance and see, you know, if, if that's the only thing, you know, that you disagree with, then, you know, kind of is what it is, right? So, what's my point? Hmm don't really know what my point is I guess I guess my point is you know how lightly do you take subscriptions do you subscribe willy-nilly do you unsubscribe willy-nilly do you just subscribe to people just because or because you think that it's helpful to them and then you never even look at your subscriptions page anyway and it, being subscribed to them is ultimately irrelevant to you I don't know. I mean, there's not really any wrong answers. I mean, indirectly, YouTube is free, right? Or directly. No, directly it's free, but indirectly it costs money somehow. I don't know. Whatever. I don't understand ads. But if you like my video, click it. No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to click any ads. I don't really care. I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing this for funsies. But if I happen to get rich, that's cool too. And I guess even beyond that, you know, do you do likes and unlikes willy-nilly, or is it something that you actually like, or do you just click the button just because? Or do you click the button just to troll people and piss them off? I don't know. I'm just curious about other people's motivations for things. I sometimes question my own or try to figure them out. <laughs> sometimes I have no idea what I, why I do what I do, but that's okay. Well, it's nice and windy now, so you probably won't be able to hear me as well, so that's a great time to end the video, I think. Plus, I've run out of useful things to say, as per usual. Anyway, 
If you liked today's video, let me know down in the comments section below, you know, by responding to what are your motivations for subscribing and unsubscribing. Let me know why you've unsubscribed from my channel. That'd be really great. I'm just kidding. You, you guys all go do what you want to do. It's a free, free world out there for YouTube. So, you know, do what you want to do with it. Have fun with it. Be entertained. Don't be entertained. Be educated. Whatever you want to be. See ya.